Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to talk about a new bag from Urban Southern. This is the Legacy Tote in the box. We're going to do an unboxing today. And Mother's Day is coming up so I wanted to make sure that you had a lot of information from the video today to make an informed decision if you should add this tote to your wish list. This bag was sent to me for review but all these opinions are my own. You can expect a lot from me in today's video. It's going to be an unboxing and first impression. I want to share other ideas with you of what this bag can hold, like being used for a diaper bag or for travel or a weekend bag. So you can expect those things as well. The box says it's five pounds. The bag does not weigh five pounds, but this is a five pound box. Make room for it. Yeah. Ooh. Tissue paper with their logo. It says indulge in simplicity. This company makes all their bags in the United States. Uh, it's a woman owned company as well. That's a little unique for my, um, for the bags I review, but I wanted you to know. Oh, it smells amazing. Look at this. Look at this. Wow. It's a big bag. Ooh, look at this one. Wow. Whoa. That smells so nice. Isn't this beautiful? This is in chestnut brown. Ooh, backpack option. So it is full grain leather, brass hardware. And I'm guessing the straps are on the inside. Oh, that zipper didn't even give us any trouble, did it? It is a YKK zipper. Great. Uh, two straps. You can, uh, we'll go into that later. Oh, that's the hardware is amazing. It's just that cold feeling, you know. Oh, and they gave me a key fob. That's nice. With their uh, logo on it. Is that coming in? That's very nice of them. And then in here is a card, uh, your leather care card. And it goes through that. Massage and roll your bag between your hands to soften it. That's fun. So it talks about what to do if it gets wet um, and when to condition it. Helpful information. Okay, let's move the box out of the way and talk more. I looked up the specs online, so let me run those by you. Uh, 13 in height, 17 and a half wide, and the base is seven deep at the bottom. And they said at the opening it is four inches deep at the top, but then it opens obviously really wide when you have the zipper undone. Um, I think the four inches comes into play right here. So four inches there, seven inches there. That's great. The bag weighs three and a half pounds with the strap attached. Um, that is on the heavier side of my bags, but it's also on the larger side of the bags I owned. And holding it like this, it feels like nothing. Right? Did I put the straps? Ha! The straps are over here. Okay. Bag empty. Really manageable. Let's put the straps inside again. Yeah. I mean, three and a half empty. That is higher, but... It's just so large to be 17, what did I say? 17 and a half wide, seven base. I don't think I have a tote that wide and that deep. Uh, so it's not in my head as much as a purse. It's more um, for activities like a diaper bag or travel or weekend. We can run through the outside of the bag. It has three exterior pockets. One, two, three. Um, I do notice the slant to the pockets. I don't know if you guys watched the Facebook Live of Urban Southern talking about this. I'll leave a link below, a public link you can look at, but they 
talked about how those ankle, those pockets are angled just as a nice detail. See, oh yeah, I mean they're they're loose day one. That's nice. And then this is the exterior pocket. Let's try the zipper. Pretty good. And on the inside of this, I really like the gold collar with the chestnut brown. Um, the pocket goes the, almost the full length of the bag. And pretty deep. That's really good. And it is unlined on the inside. No pocket behind here. Sometimes companies do another pocket there, but because this is so generous and there are these two slip pockets, love it. Perfect. Let's take a look on the inside. Okay. We have a nice floppy pocket back here that goes the full length of the bag and it goes is it all the way to the bottom? About an inch up from the bottom. Um, let's turn the bag around. Oh, same kind of pocket on this side with a key hook. That brass Howard feels so nice. That does add to the weight of the bag, but it's also so much about the integrity and longevity of the bag. And then you can see there's a side pocket there that's floppy and a side pocket there that's floppy. So four large pockets lining the walls. That makes this bag so organized. I'm a big fan of that. So quick editing trick after I filmed this video, I went ahead and modeled the bag for you and you can see those images now. Here's the bag on my shoulder. the bag crossbody. Here's the bag in the crook of my arm, which is actually really comfortable. Here it is in backpack mode, which I think is my most preferred way of carrying the bag. Before I move on to comparing this bag to other bags I have from Urban Southern, um, I just kind of want to show you an overview again of the bag. I feel like I did that pretty quick. Here's the placement for the straps. The backpack straps connect from here to here and then here to here. There are no feet on this bag. But I remember hearing that they uh, double lined the base of the bag to have a little more structure to it. It does feel thicker, but it is still flexible. And look at this, day one. Look at how schmooshy. That's really cool. This is beautiful. And y'all, this smell, I can't get over it. It's like the right leather smell. You know, sometimes it can smell like a stain or a glue, but this is like the right smell. Anybody get me? Okay. I'm sure many of you watching own Urban Southern bags already, and the company recently switched ownership about a year ago. I haven't noticed any big hiccups with that transfer. Uh, the social media, like the social media posts, have I think gone up, which is really enjoyable. But with that switch and a new bag coming out, some of us were curious. Well, what is the leather going to be? Is it going to be different? Is it the same? Urban Southern has never even done zippers before. So this is a big change for the Legacy Tote compared to their other bags. And I own several of them. So now I'm going to kind of compare color, hardware, um, the leather thickness, just so you have that information. 
They did make sure to inform us this is still full grain leather. One change they made was the weight of the leather. So Urban Southern in the past has been four to five ounce full grain leather, and this one is three to four ounce full grain leather. The reason they did that, uh, which they explained on Facebook, was um, to keep the bag lighter. Just keeping the leather a lighter ounce was going to help with the weight. Um, hardware you can't really get much lighter because you don't want to, but in spots that they could, they lightened the leather, and um, I think that change is so gradual that um, I do see that it's a little floppier, maybe, but I still think that's such a gradual change. Uh, the integrity of the bag is still there, the warranty is still there, and the beauty of the bag is still there. Let me show you what bags I own from Urban Southern. This is the cross body wallet. I have it in chestnut brown and in matte black. One is an old um, version of the crossbody wallet and one is the new one. And I have a review of these on my YouTube channel, link below. I have the uh, Brit Circle Crossbody Bag in matte black. I don't have a review on this one, but here's the strap. Um, this is actually one of my favorite bags to wear. It is really comfortable, magnetic handles right here. Um, it was gifted to me and I think it's absolutely charming. This is the Monterey backpack in matte black. I really love using this bag. It has backpack straps, still gets lots of love. And there's a review on this on my channel. This is the mini market tote in chestnut brown. This was also gifted to me from a YouTube watcher. Hi. Uh, this is going to be a good one to compare the color um, between the Legacy Tote and the Mini Tote. And this is a um, clutch that is no longer available on the website. And this is the uh, felt organizer tote insert, if you will. <clears throat> you can see it has a Velcro removable option. Um, this I do have a review on uh, my channel, and it is um, actually how I got introduced to this company. I saw their styles, I was warming up to them and kind of feeling it out, and then I picked up this uh, just because all my bags need organization. So let's compare the colors of the Legacy Tote and the Mini Market Tote. Very, very similar. This one has a little more love, so I'm wondering if it's a little darker. Let's hold it up to the crossbody tote, too. And chestnut. Oh, let's see, that really matches. Yeah, if you're noticing that strap on the crossbody tote, that's going to have more patina because uh, you're touching it with your fingers more. And that's where a dark color is coming in. So maybe you can expect that from the handles up here. While I have this in my hand, let's see how this fits in the Legacy Tote. I'm going to take the crossbody straps off. It's very easy. It's just in the back here. Let's see how it looks in the front. It does fit. Um, I don't know if you can see the the nipple rivet would start to show in here. It does fit. How is it? It's not hard to get out. So it does fit there. Let's see how does it fit on the sides. It does fit. Look at that. So if maybe if you used it for something else in a wallet and you had time to get it out. That was pretty fast. Putting it in was a little time consuming. And so obviously it can fit in the main body. Here it is in the back pocket. Here it is in the sidewall. That's great. This is, I think, one of their number one sellers. It is such a great buy. It's very cute. You can see on the inside here. I want to zoom in and show you the thickness of these leathers um, from the old and the new. I found a spot on the bag 
where the bag is only one piece of leather thick. Let's look. Okay. This right here is a crossbody wallet. And this right here is a legacy tote. So. What do you think about thickness? They look pretty close to me. Legacy tote, crossbody. I'm comfortable with that. What do you guys think? The hardware on my crossbody wallet's going to have a lot of patina. But let's zoom you in. So this is legacy tote, this is crossbody. Wallet, both brass, they feel great. This one has a little more patina to it. This will get patina. And for Urban Southern to introduce zippers, I feel like that really expands the horizon on what you can do when you design a bag. Um, more security as well. This tote having a zipper really makes me want to use it more for travel. Um, it's big enough to bring on a trip, but having that zipper, it really gives you peace of mind when you have your bag in front of you um, on an airplane or overhead. And again, I think the zippers are smooth. I would say you just kind of need to hold on to one edge of it and pull. Really great. Put the tote insert inside and see how that looks. Oh, that fits perfectly. Okay, so that's the tote insert. Um, it is quite dark, dark on dark. But it went in with ease, tons of room to spare between the insert and the pockets. Um, but a great way to make a bigger bag more organized. I was thinking because it's so organized even without the insert, you might not even have to do pouches uh, to carry your items. Normally bags that are full green leather have less organization and I think pouches have been the way to go. But when you line the walls with four pockets, you can see just as organized. I'm going to now load up the bag with all my diaper bag items and weigh it again and show you what that looks like. Here is the bag all loaded up with diaper bag items. Uh, you can see two bottles on the outside pockets. You can kind of see the silhouette of my phone a little bit. I put that in the front pocket. Uh, the backpack straps are on. Here's what I put on the inside. Uh, with one of those pockets, I put the four diapers. This is a changing pad kit with more diapers and wipes. Um, in this side pocket, there's a washcloth and burp rag. Further down here, that stripe is one of those cover-ups. Um, <clears throat> what do I have on the other side? Little socks, a backup outfit, a swaddle, and then over on this and then in here I have um, a pacifier and I wanted to show I did put the crossbody wallet in here too to kind of show that um, what do you think shall we say it there is room to spare and now I'm going to fill this up with items for a weekend trip and show you how, what that looks like all right, now we're back with it filled with items for a weekend trip. In the side pocket, I have a pouch. It was very snug in there. In the front here, I have my wallet. Um, on the side here, I have my cell phone. The reason I put my cell phone over here is because I'm noticing the outline of my cell phone is very noticeable. Can you see the corners? And that would mean you would get a very strange patina over time. That's only happening because I have the bag completely, completely full. I'll show you. I wanted to see how much it could hold. Right now it has pearl iron, um, a pair of shoes, and then this is underwear and socks. That is a toiletry bag, two sweaters, and two pairs of pants. I'm not organizing anything in the pockets at this time, but I was just showing capacity. So hopefully that's helpful for knowing if this would be a good weekend bag. 
I wanted to show you how I have it loaded up with lots of everyday items. This is more for scale reference. I would say the weight is really extreme right now because I put an iPad mini in here and a laptop and a planner. So let's look at this, how it can all fit. This is a daily, um, a day planner and uh, a little pouch for gift cards. Um, here is the crossbody wallet still placed in here. This is a swell bottle in that side pocket. Here is a 13 inch surface book. Um, I actually put in a neck pillow. Uh, this is my favorite one. I'll link that below. Um, I got that out of the way to show you. We have a pouch that I love and this actually is my wallet right now. Okay, in the side pocket, I'm gonna just pull out what I put in here. I'm not getting enough light for it. We had tissues, lip gloss, hand sanitizer, mascara, and a pen, and two more pens. Okay, we did it, and I just wanna thank Urban Southern again for this opportunity. I hope you guys enjoyed this very thorough first impressions unboxing video. Uh, so what do you think? Comment below. Are you going to get one? Is it on your wish list? Um, I'm really excited to continue to test this out. Be sure to follow me on Instagram, The Perfect Leather Bag. There you'll see me trying on the bag in lots of different scenarios and outfits um, and giving my input on how the bag's wearing. And thank you all for watching. See you next time.